Self care is very important for the health of your body, mind and soul. But we have trouble accommodating it into our busy lifestyle. I'm a huge advocate of self care and in this video I will be sharing with you a few secrets that I've used in practicing self care with an intention that you will find it easier to accommodate into your lifestyle. And if this interests you, keep watching. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Aparna. I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel. And while you're there, do not forget to press, press the bell icon so you're notified every week when I post a new video, which is every Thursday. And if you're a returning viewer, a very warm welcome to you as well. We're starting a brand new series on practicing self-care and my intention here is that you get to do just that. We all are aware that self-care is an important aspect in our lives, but we are not able to accommodate due to very many reasons. Some of them, most of them, over around that we lack time or we don't think that is an important activity. It's not a part of a priority. And the truth in most of these cases is that we don't believe self-care is important in our life. However, if you do believe in self-care, then this video will help you take those baby steps into making it part of your lifestyle. So how do we do that? Here's how. First of all, you need to define what exactly is self-care to you. Don't go with stereotypes. Self-care doesn't have to be that you spend a bomb in a spa or you know blow some money and get yourself a retail therapy. I mean, it's all right if you want to do that, but you can't do it consistently, right? Unless you're like a millionaire. Still, it doesn't have to be so complicated and difficult to achieve. You just have to choose the things that you love to do and makes you happy. The activity doesn't matter. What really matters is that this is going to be your time and you will do whatever that it takes for you to relax and rejuvenate. Once you identify what is self-care for you, then you take the next step which is to create a self-care ritual which means doing this activity every single day so that it becomes a habit you can choose the time of the day and the duration if you're able to devote only five minutes then fine if you are able to devote one hour then great it doesn't matter what matters when you're taking baby steps is that you begin somewhere and the best way for you to make this into a part of your schedule is to calendar block your time for it once you sort out your time of the day and the duration and what you want to do at that time then you go ahead and create yourself self-care goals for long term for your body mind and soul Here's an example. Figure out what is it that you need to keep your body healthy and disease free. The kind of food that you love to eat and the kind of physical activity that you love to do. What is your long term plan in making you feel fit and healthy and give yourself that time. The focus here is on the feeling and that's way more important than how you look. Similarly, what can you do to keep your mind healthy? How can you keep your emotions in check? Again, preventing negative thoughts and overthinking, etc, etc. What elevates your mind? If it's movies, then so be it. Make time for that. And what makes your soul happy? Religion, spirituality, social service, taking care of the needy, taking care of the animals. You get the drift, right? So while you're putting self-care as part of your daily ritual, ensure that you pick up what can actually recharge you and rejuvenate you and create a self-care goal for a long term as well. And the fourth step here is to replace guilt with reward. Typically, we tend to feel guilty for spending time for ourselves. Remember, when things change within you, things begin to change around you. Self-care is only selfish if you are taking care of yourself at the cost of taking care of others. And I know you're not like that. So stop feeling guilty stop treating this as a selfish activity and a waste of time instead you can replace this guilt with a reward system connect your emotions to it and you'll see how easy it is to fall in love and take care of yourself so there you go those are the four steps i followed in getting self-care part of my lifestyle now let me quickly summarize them for you first you start small by defining what exactly is self-care for you then you create a self-care ritual 
Once you sort this out, then you make self-care goals for your body, mind and soul on a long-term basis and replace guilt with reward so that you can stay consistent with this plan. Thank you so much for watching. I'd like to end today with this positive quote. Rest and self-care are so important. When you take time to replenish your spirit, it allows you to serve others from the overflow. You cannot serve from an empty vessel. So what does self-care mean to you? I'd love to hear from you. Do leave it in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm on. Finally, if you love this video, even though you're watching this on WhatsApp, please head to YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up over there because YouTube thinks that I'm not engaging with you. So let us show them that yes, there is an engagement of this for this videos. So do head to my channel, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to it already. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Until then, take good and until then, take good care of yourself. Bye.